Good day, my pupils. And now listen to me carefully. Мен сөйлеп жатырмын. Тамақ пісіп жатыр. Ән ойнап жатыр. What is the similarity of these sentences? Right, you are. They are all happening at this moment. In English, we call this tense present continuous. It is the formation of affirmative sentences. Subject, verb to be, main verb plus ing. If the subject is I, we use am. If the subjects are you, we say, we use are. If the subject are he, she, it, we use is. For example, I am teaching, you are teaching, he is teaching, she is teaching, it is teaching, we are teaching, you are teaching, they are teaching. It is the formation of negative sentences. Subject, verb to be, plus not, main verb, plus ing. For example, I am not teaching, you are not teaching, he is not teaching, she is not teaching, it is not teaching, we are not teaching, you are not teaching, they are not teaching. It is a formation of interrogative sentences. Verb to be, subject, main verb plus ing. For example, am I teaching? Are you teaching? Is he teaching? Is she teaching? Is it teaching? Are we teaching? Are you teaching? Are they teaching? It is a formation of short answers. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Yes, you are. No, you are not. Yes, he is. No, he is not. Yes, she is. No, she is not. Yes, it is. No, it is not. Yes, we are. No, we are not. Yes, you are. No, you are not. Yes, they are. No, they are not. Your first task will be to look at the picture and make up the sentences in the present continuous in affirmative and negative forms. In your second task, I would like you to look at the picture and make up the sentences in the present continuous, in interrogative form. That is all for today. I am looking forward to check your home tasks. Bye!